In the 1950s, computers were clunky, but a visionary named Alan Turing asked a mind-bending question, can machines think? This sparked the quest for artificial intelligence. Turing's ideas, like a roadmap, challenged us to build machines that could reason and learn, not just mimic emotions. This was the start of AI's incredible journey, taking us from clunky machines to the powerful AI of today. At that time, computers were very different from what we know today. They couldn't store commands. They could only execute them, which was a major obstacle. Additionally, these machines were incredibly expensive, costing up to $200,000 a month to lease. This made it difficult for researchers to experiment and develop new ideas. Despite these challenges, Turing's work laid the foundation for AI by proposing that machines could use information and reasoning to solve problems and make decisions much like humans do. His ideas inspired a generation of scientists, mathematicians, and philosophers to pursue the dream of creating intelligent machines. This early period was crucial in shaping the future of AI, even though the technology of the time was not yet ready to fully realize Turing's vision. Dartmouth Conference and Early AI Programs In 1956, a pivotal event in AI history took place, the Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence. This conference was organized by John McCarthy, who introduced the term artificial intelligence during the event. McCarthy envisioned a collaborative effort to explore the possibilities of AI, inviting top researchers from various fields to join the discussion. One of the standout achievements presented at the conference was the Logic Theorist, created by Alan Newell and Herbert Simon. This program was designed to mimic human problem-solving skills and is considered one of the first AI programs. It demonstrated that machines could be programmed to solve complex problems, laying the groundwork for future AI developments. Although the conference didn't meet all of McCarthy's high hopes, participants came and went, and there was no consensus on standard methods. The gathering was significant. It marked the first organized effort to address AI and brought together brilliant minds who believed in the potential of intelligent machines. This event catalyzed the next 20 years of AI research, inspiring numerous breakthroughs and helping to shape the field as we know it today. Despite its shortcomings, the Dartmouth Conference was a landmark moment that set the stage for AI's evolution. The first AI boom. Between 1957 and 1974, AI saw its first significant growth. Advances in computer storage, speed, and accessibility fueled this boom. Computers became capable of storing more information and processing it faster, making them more useful for AI research. Key developments during this period included the general problem solver by Newell and Simon, which could solve a wide range of problems, and ELISA by Joseph Weizenbaum, which could simulate human conversation. These early programs demonstrated AI's potential and captured public and academic interest. Government agencies like DARPA poured funds into AI research, driven by the high optimism of the time. Researchers believed that machines capable of human-like intelligence were just around the corner. Marvin Minsky, a prominent AI pioneer, predicted that within a few years, machines would have the intelligence of an average human. However, despite the enthusiasm, many challenges remained. The field struggled with the limitations of existing technology and the complexity of creating truly intelligent systems. Stay tuned to discover more exciting AI milestones and future predictions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content on the journey of artificial intelligence. AI Winter From 1974 to 1980, AI research faced a significant downturn, known as the AI Winter. Funding and interest in the field sharply declined as the initial optimism faded. The primary reason was the limitations of computational power at the time. Computers couldn't store enough information or process it fast enough to meet the ambitious goals set by researchers. Hans Moravec, a notable AI researcher, highlighted that computers were still millions of times too weak to exhibit real intelligence. This period was marked by frustration as the gap between expectations and reality became apparent. As a result, progress slowed and many AI projects were abandoned or received minimal support. This era taught the AI community valuable lessons about the challenges of building intelligent systems and the importance of managing expectations, revival, and expert systems. 
The 1980s marked a revival in AI research, driven by new techniques and increased funding. John Hopfield and David Rummelhart introduced deep learning, allowing computers to learn from experience. This breakthrough meant that instead of being explicitly programmed for every task, machines could improve their performance by processing large amounts of data. Edward Feigenbaum's work on expert systems also played a crucial role. These systems mimic the decision-making process of human experts. For example, an expert system could diagnose medical conditions by asking a series of questions and comparing the answers to its database of knowledge. This made expert systems valuable tools in various industries, from healthcare to finance. The Japanese government has heavily invested in AI through the fifth generation computer project. They poured $400 million into developing advanced computing technologies, aiming to revolutionize computer processing and AI. While the project had mixed success and didn't meet all its ambitious goals, it inspired a new generation of engineers and scientists. Ultimately, the FGCP ended and AI temporarily fell out of the spotlight. However, the progress made during this period laid the groundwork for future advancements, setting the stage for the AI innovations we see today. Landmark Achievements The 1990s and 2000s were pivotal decades for AI, marked by significant achievements, many of which occurred without government funding. During this time, AI made impressive strides that captured public attention and showcased its potential. One of the most notable milestones was IBM's Deep Blue defeating world chess champion Garry Kasparov in 1997. This event was groundbreaking, as it was the first time a computer had beaten a reigning world chess champion, demonstrating AI's capability in strategic thinking and decision-making. Around the same time, advancements in speech recognition technology took center stage. Dragon Systems developed software that could accurately transcribe spoken language, which was integrated into Windows in 1997. This breakthrough made it possible for machines to understand and process human speech, opening new avenues for AI applications. Emotional recognition also saw significant progress. Cynthia Brazil's Kismet robot, developed at MIT, could recognize and respond to human emotions showcasing AI's potential in social interactions and human-machine relationships. A critical factor in these advancements was Moore's Law, which states that the processing power of computers doubles approximately every two years. This exponential growth in computing power enabled AI systems to handle larger data sets and more complex computations, pushing the boundaries of what AI could achieve. Modern AI and Big Data Since the 2000s, AI has made significant advancements, largely driven by big data. With the ability to collect and analyze vast amounts of information, AI systems have become more powerful and effective. Big data has enabled AI to learn and improve through brute force, processing large data sets to find patterns and make predictions. AI applications have spread across various industries, transforming technology, banking, marketing, and entertainment. In technology, AI powers virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa. In banking, AI detects fraudulent transactions. Marketing uses AI to target ads, while entertainment platforms recommend shows and movies based on user preferences. The availability of data plays a crucial role in AI learning. The more data an AI system can access, the better it can perform. This interplay between data availability and AI capabilities continues to push the boundaries of what AI can achieve, making it an integral part of our daily lives. The future of AI. Looking ahead, AI language and communication are expected to see major advancements. We're already experiencing AI-driven customer service and real-time translation. In the near future, interacting with AI in natural, fluid conversations will become commonplace. Driverless cars are another exciting prospect. With companies like Tesla and Waymo making significant progress, we can anticipate fully autonomous vehicles on the roads within the next couple of decades. The ultimate goal is achieving general intelligence, machines surpassing human cognitive abilities in all tasks. However, this raises important ethical considerations. How should intelligent machines be regulated? What rights, if any, should they have? These are questions we must address as AI continues to evolve. For now, AI will keep improving, 
becoming more integrated into our society, and shaping the way we live and work. The journey of AI is far from over, and the future holds endless possibilities. But what's the next big breakthrough in AI that could change our world? If you found the history of AI interesting, you should not miss what Microsoft is working on in our next video. Subscribe and watch the next episode to learn more. Stay curious and join us for more AI adventures.